I can fly. I believe I am sitting on something pointy. Hey guys, why, why stay? Hey guys, what's up? It's Haley. Welcome back to my channel. First of all, I would like to apologize for last week. I totally flaked with videos. I only released one instead of three. That's because not only was my laptop just losing its mind, but I was also really busy just adulting my life away and kind of getting some businessy things in order so that things like this won't happen again. But I am sorry and I have missed you and I'm really excited to start getting back into the swing of things now that everything has kind of been taken care of. I have fruit snacks for breakfast and this is my second Red Bull. My mom would be so proud. So for today's video, since spring is finally here, and the sun is shining and the birds are chirping and everybody's kind of just coming out of that wintry, I don't really know what to call it, but just that grogginess that clings to you throughout the colder months. It starts to lift away and everybody starts to feel a little bit better, I think, and your routines change. So I thought I would just run through some of the products and some of the random things that I've been reaching for over the past little while now that spring is here. Basically like a spring essentials video, which is essentially a favorites video, but instead of recapping a month, it's geared towards a whole season, which I don't know if that's a real thing. Could be, but I also could just be making it up. So. Either way, I have quite a few things that I want to run through with you guys, some of which I've had for a while and just didn't really use throughout the winter months and now I'm going back to, and others are new to me because I have picked up quite a few things recently that I've really, really liked and I think you guys will like as well. Also, big news, this is my first collab video. So I'm making this video in collaboration with another smaller YouTuber named Naomi Mercedes. She's such a sweet, sweet girl. Our channels are pretty much the same, actually. We do a lot of the same stuff. And so it's really exciting that I get to work with her. She is doing a spring themed video as well. She's doing spring DIYs. I will leave the link to that video and her channel down in the description box below. Make sure to check her out and give her some carpentino taught love. Let her know that I sent you. Now that I've rambled on for about an hour, let's just jump into the video. I have some beauty things and some random things. I'm going to start with the beauty things first. So my first spring essential is this Becca highlighter kit. Now I love this for a couple reasons. First of all, the highlighter is just stunning. This kit is in the shade Opal and it comes with two pieces, the powder highlight and then the liquid version, both of which are absolutely gorgeous. Prepare yourself for the worst description ever because not only do I suck at makeup, but I suck at describing things. So put those two things together and you have a little bit of a problem with me. But basically it's just this dusty gold shade that has the most pigmentation I've ever seen in any kind of product. It's just beautiful. When I think of spring and just warmer weather in general, I think of really dewy skin. And for people that like that kind of thing, this is a great Great, amazing holy grail product so yes I've been really impressed with this not just with the product which is absolutely flawless but just the idea and affordability of the set I just think it's really smart to offer a sample set so that people can kind of test something out before investing $50 in a highlighter which in some cases is ridiculous but I have to say that this is just so amazing that I would be willing to buy the full size this little set is $20 at Sephora and I just I love it that I could do without. My next spring essential is tea tree oil. Now this little jar of magic has changed my skin in ways I can't even communicate. I have never used anything that has transformed my skin so much so quickly. This was recommended to me by my aunt and I picked this one up at Trader Joe's. Then I picked up this little spray bottle from Walmart for like a dollar and then I poured half of the tea tree oil into the spray bottle, filled the rest up with water. Basically all you do is shake it up and then spray it across your face. I do it two times a day but you kind of have to figure out what works for your skin. I also recommend spraying it on your hand before you coat your entire skin with it just to make sure you don't have a reaction. But for me there's been nothing but amazing results. I literally swear by this now. This corrected almost all of my skin issues in actually three days, which is ridiculous, I know, but it's just amazing. Like, it cleared my breakouts, one, and it just gives me this glow that nothing else really does. I just, I absolutely love it. It's also 100% natural, which just makes me so happy. I love when natural things work better than products that are charged full of chemicals. I highly, highly, highly recommend this. I will say, though, that for some people the smell is a downfall. I personally really like how tea tree oil smells but I think I'm in the minority with that. It is a really really strong scent. David thinks it smells like feet. Just give it a whiff to make sure that it is worth it um, but I just I haven't ever used anything that is affecting my skin this amazingly. Next is this lip mask from Sephora. I picked 
picked this up the other day because it was just right by the register and I have no self-control. And I also was just really, really curious because I've seen things like this go around where they're intended to plump up your lips and personally, that's just not something that I'm into. If you are, go ahead, I have absolutely nothing against it, but my lip issue is more just the fact that they get really chapped really easily and they're just constantly dry, which is why I'm always wearing lip gloss or chapstick or lip balm and it just gets a little exhausting sometimes. So I picked up a couple of these and they work really, really well. I was actually super surprised. First of all, they smell great. Second of all, they left my lips feeling really just hydrated and rejuvenated and fresh. If that makes sense, I really, really, really like these. I think personally, anything that is rejuvenating or freshening in the springtime is something that I gravitate towards because I go through a really tough time throughout the colder months. It's just part of who I am. I have seasonal affective disorder. We've talked about this before. I have a medical reaction to the weather, I guess. I don't know. I need to actually learn more about what's going on with my body, but I know that winter is just a really tough time for me physically, mentally, and emotionally. So coming out of that is something really special for me. So I've just been really into taking care of myself and using products that are really exfoliating and really like refreshing so I have been loving 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 these sticking with lips for a second my next spring essentials are these two lip products now I've said it before and I will say it again I don't necessarily gravitate towards lip products because I have a very small mouth in proportion to the rest of my face at least I think so so I don't love drawing more attention to it than is necessary although announcing it to the entire internet isn't exactly inconspicuous but recently I've been pushing myself outside of my comfort zone and I've been playing around with both of these and I actually really really like them They're both that original Kylie Jenner lip phenomenon that everybody was freaking out about that muted mauve color This one is the L'Oreal Paris Something in the shade Everlasting Caramel Basically it is a duo with a liquid pigment on the bottom and on top is this weird little gloss stick. I think it's so if you want to have a glossy finish you have that option because the pigment itself is matte. So I've been loving this and this is the Velvet Lipstick Crayon by Forever 21 in the shade Natural. First of all I've been very pleasantly surprised by Forever 21's beauty products. They're actually pretty great. Basically this crayon just rolls out a little bit and applies so smoothly and softly like it just feels great going on it doesn't stay super long so you do have to reapply but it's really not that big a deal it's so easy to use the color is stunning and I just highly highly recommend also it was like a dollar so really you can't go wrong my next spring essential is this bubble bath this is the bird and bee foaming bubble bath in the scent rose water first of all how absolutely adorable is this packaging the label is just so spring like and it would totally spruce up your bathroom which I know is not why people buy bubble baths but just let me finish it's also really great quality one it smells like a rose garden just after it rains oh it just smells so good and fresh and sweet and lovely and oh it's in my nose oh it has a really refreshing scent is probably the best way to describe it and also it makes really great bubbles like Santa beard bubbles I know I'm not the only one okay my next spring essential is this candle and oh this candle this is the amber patchouli scented candle by world market first of all the packaging again is so gorgeous and completely my style second of all this candle smells like everything that is good in the world it smells like amazingness. It's a really warm scent. It kind of smells like a spiced vanilla almost with fruity undertones. I don't know what I'm talking about but it smells so good. I think this is my hands down favorite candle. It's very sweet but not sickly at all and it's also kind of musky. It's the perfect mix of everything. You know what? I think I probably like this candle more than I liked that pumpkin candle that made me cry. You're an OG Carpentator Todd if you remember that. A million out of five stars. Highly, highly, highly recommend. Okay, I'm just gonna sit here and smell this for a couple minutes now. Excuse me. My next spring essential are these sunglasses. I picked these up at H&M. They were part of the Coachella line that they had out. I'm assuming it's still out um, in stores, but if not, I know that they're still available online right now. They're super cute and they have kind of a 70s vibe because the lenses are so circular and they go with everything. So I really, really, really like these. My last spring essential is a planner. Now this one is particularly adorable. I got it at Target. This is the Cambridge Edition number 2016 planner. I absolutely love it, but any planner will do. I think of spring as a fresh start and I think that the best way to kind of get a hold of your life and get organized is having a place to write it all down. Having a cute place to write it all down um, doesn't hurt. So yeah, $10 at Target. Alright, that is it for this video. I hope you
you guys enjoyed it. If you did, let me know down below in the comments. Also, make sure to be following me on all of my social media, which is also linked down below. And make sure to give Naomi's video a watch, which is, again, linked in the description box below. I love you guys so, so much. I can't wait for you to see and be a part of what's coming. It's all getting really exciting really fast, and I'm so grateful that I get to share it with all of you. So, with that said, I will see you on Wednesday with another video. I promise. Like, I actually really 100% pinky promise. I love you guys so much. Bye! I got that kind of